guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new, don't be. What up, what up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, don't be. Go ahead and click that subscribe button to be a part of the Witness Gang to join the Witness Nation. Now, let's get into this, shall we? What up, you guys? Okay, so I wanted to come to you guys real quick with this uh, podcast. And yes, you guys see the title. Tasha K lied about the last mistress of Derek Jackson, okay? Listen to my words. The last alleged mistress of Derek Jackson. Okay. So if you guys don't know, let me just get you guys all caught up. Okay. Um, and I did this in the last video in regards to when everything first hit the fan, when it came to Derek Jackson. Okay. But let me just go back into that. Okay. First and foremost, I am not like a huge advocate of Derek Jackson. I will watch some of his videos from time to time. He didn't change my life. He didn't change my view sense. Some things made me think some things I, uh, uh, wish I would have applied to my life. Some things, so I just said don't apply to me and I kept it pushing I didn't buy a book, I didn't buy a card I didn't buy anything from this man But I just was like, mm, okay, black man, you know Being insightful, cool, you know Me and my husband would share intellect on Some of the stuff he would say from time to time And that was pretty much it, okay Now I do no, and I am aware that some people life was just blown by this man. A lot more single, decrepitated women, uh, more than none, you know, but not not over here. OK, but not for nothing. I stand on integrity on my platform um, and this is no different. And so um, I also uh, have you guys uh, know that, you know, I love Tasha K. I love the likes of Tasha K, Lovely T, Armand, Storm, some of the big hitters on this, on this platform, Impressive, All About the T. I love them, okay? Not for nothing, me being a prodigy of all these individuals, I um, take my platform very seriously. Although I'm a, a smaller YouTuber, I stand on integrity. As you guys may uh, be aware, um, you know, I really didn't come out. I come out and speak on things that I am um, subject to of some kind of relation that I can relate to. I don't just speak out the side of my neck. I don't speak in vengeance. I don't use my platform for revenge or whatever the case may be. Can't speak on the lines of everybody else. So let's go ahead and get into this. OK, so first and foremost, what happened between Derek Jackson and Tasha K is that I guess some some uh, tea came out in regards to him probably when his first uh, allegations came out about him cheating on his wife back in some years ago or a year or two ago. And Tasha K went to him in regards to like an interview or getting some kind of information from him. He declined, um, you know, and from there he made videos in regards to her, not directly to her, but indirect to her, calling her a narcissist and it's that nature. Um, you know, uh, so they went back and forth in regards to that. It got quiet. It got cold. Well, on the inside or the background, Tasha K was in the process of building up her case, if you will, against Derek. OK. Um, and then here recently, as you guys are aware, everything hit the fan. OK, not for nothing. Uh, she interviewed allegedly three women that were involved with Derek Jackson. Two of the women sent pictures, um, talked to her. Stories was kind of similar that they, you know, slept with him or got. Well, one of them stated well, both of them actually stated they slept with him. One of them, he denied. Um, he was like, you know, we were cool, really. And we kind of were, I, I, I was emotionally connected to her. We crept out, but we never got physical. So he denied her. But this last one that she uh, interviewed, he did say, you know, they were sexually involved or whatever. But basically, both of the women, he cut them off after him and his wife went through uh, went, went through what they went through. And she exposed him and she left with the kids. I guess he came to his senses or oh, whatever. They decided to go into counseling. And that was that. However, the last alleged um, mistress of Derek kind of just didn't sit too well with me. For one, she was very um, covered. Um, she was not seen. She didn't send a picture. All of this was just, you know, her speaking. And to be quite frank and honest with you, because I was talking to school board from All About the Teen, I was like, to me, it just was weird how Tasha K was kind of guiding the conversation. When I do interviews, any interview that I've done, it was one particular girl that was accusing um, Black China of stealing like her creative um 
concepts. I just let her talk. Um, you know, I chimed in whenever um, details that I know I had spoke to her before was not um, presented. But for the most part, I just let the girl talk. Right. And so I was looking forward to Tasha K doing that. I know engaging with your your guests. However, she would, you know, adds information and then the girl will build off of that. And it just didn't it just didn't sit too well with me. Not for nothing. I was like, OK, whatever. One particular moment or one particular um, bit of information or detailing was kind of alarming to me um, in the interview with this mistress, she stated that, you know, he she saw him so early as like a week or so ago and um, look back at his videos. He was recording videos in front of the house. Um, she stated how one of uh, the, the, the pictures with like arches uh, was her house. It was a porch way or whatever the case may be. OK. And so uh, Tasha K was all oh, that was that, that was this. It was so soon. That was this soon or whatever the case may be. Right. So she was kind of, if you will, leading her into stating that, you know, the last videos that he recorded, you could see that um, he was in front of a house and those and, and she was like, it was arches. And he, she was like, yeah, she was like, yeah, that's my house. And it was some kind of alleged video where she supposedly had uploaded it and it was video footage of him in her house. It was grainy. You can really see. I don't know. But she stated that she just kept it because it was a, um, a doctor or whatever, you know, but she her her verbiage, how she was talking was very, mm, you know, um, and it's just kind of like, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. But when I think about any kind of doctors and I, I know they may talk with a twang or whatever, I think of like married to medicine, you know, um, and uh, you know, Dr. Heavenly, she's a dentist and she she's country. But when it's uh, talking to somebody, you can pretty much understand what she's saying, you know, and it's just I don't know. I, you know, and I mean, we can just go on with the other physicians that are on the show. And I just it just mm, mm, mm. but not for nothing. Um, that stuck with me. And so here recently. OK, this is what I want to bring to your perspective. I could be wrong. OK. On Sunday, um, which was Easter, um, you know, and um, those that celebrate, I hope you guys had a great Easter. OK, not for nothing on Easter. OK. Um, the shade room caught wind of Derek Jackson kind of like uh, loving on his wife, talking about his wife. OK, and this is the particular post that they were talking about. OK, and I want I want that to, to register in your head. I want you to look at the the front of this house that this woman, his wife, is taking her pictures in front of. OK. OK. Now, these this was the latest video, probably like a week or so ago that um, Tasha K actually used an example to this being the alleged mistress house. Now, if you look in the back, those are the same arches. I, I, I'm probably going to put in here like a side by side where you can see. But those that's the, that's the same house, y'all. That That's his driveway. OK, and I say all this to say and the reason why that I wanted to bring this up is because. Like I stated, I love me some Tasha K. But when it comes to a point in time when integrity is at hand, you have to take the 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 route that is going to exude that. Um, and I say that because, um, you know, uh, many of you guys may or may not know that I'm tied into the likes of Asriel by way of Angelo, her dad. And it was a situation that happened amongst all of them, right? When stuff hit the fan and everybody was just, well, she put that out there like, you know, oh, now I'm lying. Oh, now I'm lying. I was telling the truth about it first. And everybody was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. It was cute. But the thing is, is that it's like little stuff like this she's been doing. Little stuff she's been doing that, you know, um, people have exposed her and called her out for. And so when you when you lie a little, it makes you question the other information that you have put out 
there and it takes away from this story in its entirety. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's why I had questioned in regards to the matter of the last mistress, just myself personally, because like I said, it was just too many different things there that would just have me look sideways. But it was just like, um, I think she couldn't go anywhere after that second person. And if it was up to me, I would have just stopped right there. But see, it's not good enough. She wanted to keep going with he's still in the present doing it to make it more salacious. And this is what I believe. This is how I believe it went. Okay. I do believe that Derek Jackson did cheat on his wife several times, all, all the way up until, okay. All right. But what what I do believe, okay, because this happens, is that when he saw her leave, when she actually left, because she could have been the woman that stayed and went through all this, could have did all this stuff. Like he said, they was in a state of depression. They was both doing things, okay? When she left, it became real to him, okay? And they did decide to do their counseling and go to church and stuff like that. Wherever that place they decide to worship, that's their business. That has nothing to do with anything. Cult, not cult, whatever. They seem to be you know, doing what they need to do. And he seemed to be turning a new leaf. And I know people were saying, well, now all of a sudden he wants to post his wife. Well, I think now he's found appreciation in his wife. Okay. But I think that, you know, hearing that he shut those mistresses down, because let's think, let's, let's, let's be honest. Both of them at the end said what? He stopped talking to them. He stopped dealing with them. And then poof, I heard about his wife. I heard they were still together, this and that third. Let's make this very clear because people are missing this. Anytime you deal with a married man, if he's not divorced, reconciliation is still subject. Reconciliation is still alluring there. That's why I don't deal with people when they be like messing with people when they're separated. That don't make sense. That person can still get back, back with their spouse. Okay. And then you're going to have egg on your face because they hold no obligation to you. That's why he was able to shut things down, shut everything down, block them and stuff like that. And that was another thing. This last alleged um, mistress was saying that he blocked her on all social media and um, on YouTube houseway. Can somebody tell me how that's possible? Did he grab your phone and do that? She stated that she had to get her sister phone. It just didn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense. It was just very far fetched and just uh, it was just kind of just like, girl, get on her and just say some stuff. People want to believe it with no proof, no evidence. But you you guys just take it in because you want the drama. You know, hearing what I just stated that he did cheat. Now he's trying to get it together. It's just not good enough. You know, it's just not good enough. You see the wife come out and talk about it. It's just not good enough. Oh, now she got to be crazy. Oh, now, you know, she got to be going through this and a third. But like I said, let's keep that same energy. That situation happened with T.I. and Tiny and she's still with him. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my theory on this. It was just kind of weird to me to say the least to see, you know, this be brought up and to see this past weekend, boom, you know, the pictures of his house. And I kind of felt like that, but I was like, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to let this play out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when I saw Tasha K use those pictures, I said, hmm, it just stuck with me. And, you know, not too many people are talking about this. Not too many people are talking about this. They rather run with the salaciousness, but not too many people are talking about, you know, this particular story that this particular situation, I saw some people saying, Oh, she, they were, they were bamboozling her. She's taking pictures in front of the mistress house. Y'all sound so dumb. That's dumb. That's real dumb. That's her house. Tasha K was lying. Okay. Period. She lied on Derek about this last mistress period. She was, she was made up. You know, I've probably, I, I do believe some of the stories got pulled from the other two. And then it just, you know, I, I don't believe the last story. You know, I don't, you know, and you come for me if you want to. But at the end of the day, I deal with integrity. And this didn't have a grain of integrity in it to uh, fabricate uh, more to the story. You should just stop while you were ahead. Um, but nonetheless, you guys, that is the video. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. While you're there, please take out the time to like, share, and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, hello and welcome to the channel. If you're not, it's not too late. Go ahead and click that subscribe button to be a part of the Witness Game to join the Witness Nation. Now, while you're there, if you already subscribed, go ahead and click down below to join. Join the channel and help grow and support this channel on a month-to-month -month basis we have a few different tiers that you can look into and pick one that is of interest to you
know you guys Whitney D here from the sensational celebrity recognized Whitney D TV. Now I want to tell you guys about my monthly membership right now here are the tiers right here you pick the one that best suits you so you can support this channel on a monthly basis. You get all kind of perks access to different exclusive content. All right, now if this is something that you're interested in, go ahead and click the join button down below and join the Witness Gang to be a part of the Witness Nation. Bye. That's right, you guys, we're now accepting members. So click that join button to see which tier you would like to help um, support the channel, okay? And while you guys are there, please take a the time to subscribe to um three shots in all right all right you guys see you in the chat let's go it's the one and only big homie ag it's your boy darren better known as super <laughs> it's your boy antonio's maximus we three shots in yeah uh, let's go brown and white Everybody tell the truth when you three shots in. Shazaz Creations is a virtual boutique for creative customized apparel, tumblers, and jewelry. Allow them to create a keepsake that you can use as a heirloom for centuries to come. Everything from blankets to pillows, allow your memories to come alive with every picture. Tell them Whitney D from Whitney D TV sent you. Use the Whitney D code or link in the description box below. Bye. Come on in, people. It's time for the plug. You know, y'all know I got a word. If you don't know, you're gonna find out in a few minutes. <laughs> My name is Britannia, and I am the plug. I'm the plug. I am the plug. plug. to Embrace Pangea. These products are all created to bring you back to balance through nature's gifts. They have a wide range of products that deal with various aspects of daily life, such as deodorants, juices, clothing, vagina detoxes, and body scrubs. Whichever product that you decide to embrace, you can rest assured that it was created with love for the betterment of self. Embrace your Pangea. Visit the link in the description box below and let them know that Whitney D of Whitney D TV sent you. Bye. So yeah, so check out the uh, site embracepangea.com and uh, embrace your Pangea. You know.